Ferg, what's been your your take on on Razor as a coach the few years you've had working with him? Yeah, I think um, oh, you guys said all his hell of a personality, really bubbly, um, great coach, and the way he connects groups, awesome. So super stoked for him. What sort of reception do you think he's going to get in there? How are the boys going to welcome him in this morning? Yeah, I think it'll be a pretty big reception. Uh, Obviously, we're all pretty proud of him. Uh, he's worked hard for it and it's thoroughly deserved, so there'll be a lot of people stoked for him in there. He talked yesterday in the press conference about, you know, you know how he's had to do it tough, you know, missing out before and, you know, going again. I mean, do you boys live off that as well? Especially, you know, he said that it helps, you know, having that experience himself to say to players, you know, when you go through adversity. Yeah, exactly. I guess um, something that he's probably been through as a player is that adversity, and we go through it all the time when you're in the team, out of the team, and... For him to miss out a couple of times, um, he, he stayed in the fight and ended up getting the rewards. So, as I say, we're stoked for him. How big did that win at the weekend, Bill, against the Blues? And, you know, he's coming off a loss to the draw. Do you see that being as a real springboard for the Crusaders season? Yeah, I think so. Um, for parts of that, we played our best footy of the year. So, um, the challenge is doing that for longer periods of time. And uh, no better opposition to do it against than the Brumbies. It will be a tough. Tough opposition Friday night. Yeah, fall back, fall back again. How are you finding your time there? Yeah, it's it's good actually. A uh, couple runs there. Never played there before, so uh, it's a bit different. Um, some of the running lines and stuff, but also some of it's quite similar to being a ten. So loving it. Yeah, the, the, in terms of the defence, because Richie's still defending back, back a bit there. Is it? How is that sort of combination working with your defence at fullback? Yeah, I guess 10, 10 and fifteen kind of defend the same in, in the back anyway after first phase. So. Are uh, we making it work? Um, so yeah, it's what good. Is, I mean, so is that quite because when you were a teen, you obviously went back a lot as well in the past. So is that quite natural for you? That part of it? Yeah, that 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 part of the game's the same. It's more on attack. That's a little bit different. But I find myself popping into first receiver quite a bit. So uh, it's just kind of having that relationship with Rich and trying to help him run the game, which has been fun. Will had some advice for you. Yeah, Will's been awesome for me. Um, sit down with him on a morning like this morning and just go through some of the Brumbies plays and stuff. So, nah, he's been real good. That adversity you were discussing, you mentioned it before, that players go through, is that, I mean, you're going through that right now as a team, the injuries, I think it must be about 14 or 15 now with Sam joining the fray. Yeah, it's been a crazy start to the year. Um, it's a completely different team to what probably was going to be put out at the start of the year. So, it's been good. Young guys getting the crack. Um, Ray's talked about the next man up. So, I think we're doing that at the moment, which has been good. Obviously, those combinations, Ferg, at the back three are pivotal. You get uh, a new winger in, in Pepe Sano, made his uh, debut off the bench last week. But uh, what's he like? He seems a, a bit of a character and brings yeah. a bit on the field. Yeah, he's a character. Um, he's awesome. He's obviously spent a lot of time with Tams, Tamari Ellison, our um, defence coach. So he understands the defence system well. Um, he defends really well. He communicates real well. And on attack, he's got fast feed and he's a quality player, yeah. Yeah, the mullet's going to live on. <laughs>